1979. Then they made you the rest of the Alien movies based on H. Geiger. Information. You still on? Yeah, we got you. Okay. And then, later on, they came with the Predator with the dreadlocks. All that is from H. Geiger's Necronomicon. But his, but he threw the bar from it again. Uh, the bottom. So all your esoteric groups, they're worshiping the black man. So if Jay-Z and Beyonce is worshiping the bottom, I am proud for them and <laughs> proud of them. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. The bottom is Saturn. So if you worship Jesus, you worship Saturn because Jesus is born out of, out of Capricorn. You see what I'm saying? And Capricorn, so we talking about astrological, but the black planet. So ultimately, this thing is astrological, alchemical, astronomical. Now, on the astronomical stuff, all that stuff comes from the star Sirius. No more. The star Sirius, which is the fish. Which is which is the fish. If you take the fish of Jesus and take the two ends off of the fish that the Christians is riding around, you will see what's this, a vesica, look like a football. The vesica is nothing but the vagina. It's nothing but the vagina. And let her on wash it for a couple of days and see don't it smell like fish. You see, they say we come from the sea. Uh, we, we, we come from the sea. That's why if you see in the movie, the last, um, in, 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 in the last um, Pirates of the Caribbean, that woman Calypso in the movie, when she rose up, she had all the fish come from up under her. But that's also a form of Leviathan, and that's also a form of Jesus, the great fisherman. But Jesus is none other than Horus. None other than Horus, or Heru. And Horus comes with his brother that's on the inside of him, which is Set. There's always two twins. It's Horus Set in Egypt mythology, Another one in, in, in is, is Kunsu, and, and he had a twin brother that didn't come to the physical earth. And then you have Krishna, the dark god, but he has a brother named Balarama. There's always these twin gods. They call them Arasa twins in Voodoo. It's all, always those. The twin god in Christianity is Jesus and Mary Magdalene. She's the dark twin, but she anoints him. So what they did here, they just changed the mythology around. You see what I'm saying? But Mary Magdalene is the twin of uh, of Jesus, and you could even say Judas is the so-called dark twin. Uh, when you go into other science, when it comes to um, when when it comes to this now, well, you, so you ask the question: Wait a minute, hold on. What is the Mary Magdalene being the twin? Because you got to realize if you look at the Baphomet, the Baphomet on one side of him has breasts on one side. It's male on one side and female on the other side, and that's what they're really talking about. The bottom is both what is called the androgynous figure, and the androgynous figure becomes the devil. Becomes the devil. It's the androgynous figure, because that's what we used to be, androgynous, until we were split in two, and now we've been constantly searching for ourselves, but we're searching for what we're searching for in women is our feminine half, and what women are searching for in men is the masculine half, but it's all on the inside of us. When you reunite those things, they become the Baphomet, the perfected man. The perfected man. That's why you see the Baphomet picture. You'll see one side of it is female and one side is male. If you go to India, Bishaitan, which later on is... Shiva, he's both Shiva Hamafadati or Shiva Ardhravadra, which is also both male and female. So these are the same concepts, but the Baphomet that they're worshiping is none other than the Saturn form of Jesus, or, or the Saturn form of Horus, which is also the Saturn, which means the black man, God of the perfect black Osiris. That particular one is none other than the, the Baphomet they're worshiping in Europe is the Moors. So we have the witches worshiping the Moors. The, the Wiccans are the are the biggest. The, the Wiccans are the biggest group, becoming the big one of the biggest groups in the world now. They got the fastest growing book, and they all worship the black man, the Sabbatic goat. They worship the Moors. Now I'm getting ready to do some stuff. Um, I'm getting ready to do some stuff this weekend in Alabama. I'm gonna be in Birmingham again. If people interested, it's come to the Birmingham lecture. Uh, uh, it's a place called Events by Lanetta. That's 2268 
Ninth Avenue North, 2268 Ninth Avenue North, behind the Sheraton Hotel. That's at 3 o'clock on Saturday in Birmingham, Alabama. Again, it's, the place is called Events by Lanetta at 2268 9th Avenue North behind the Sheraton Hotel. That's going to be at 3 o'clock on Saturday the 17th in Birmingham, Alabama. So just rewind this and get the address and be there for the people who want to be there. You see 2268 9th Avenue North behind the Sheraton Hotel, Birmingham, Alabama, 3 o'clock. I'm going to be talking about also... When I went to Memphis, and I tapped the last blog talk I was talking about, I went to Memphis and had to go into the Lorraine Motel with Martin Luther King and tap into a, a vortex and threw some stuff. But guess what? Guess what came out? A bunch of witches that worship the Baphomet, the black man. So all these people, the Masonic groups, all of your occult groups, they worship the true God. And in this particular case, they're following the Knights Templar who are worshiping, who venerated, or, or who upheld and honored the, Mo the Moors, the Black Moors, who put all these occult artists in the Western world together in their 700 years. In the 700 years that, that the Moors set up the 16 universities across Europe, they gave them general education and then when they graduate they went into these occult orders and all your Masonic, York rights, Scottish rights, all of your uh, Rosicrucians, Knights Templars, all that stuff was started by the Moors. And these are later day versions of what the Moors did and all of them venerate the Bophomets. The only person they own the game is black people because the simple fact they gave you a religion that was tampered with to keep you from your own stuff. You see what I'm saying? So what time we got? Uh, we got about 20, about 33 minutes left before question and answer. Before question and answer. Yeah, All right. 33, then we, gonna, we, we, gonna, we got 33 minutes and then we gonna hang up. We gonna reconnect and it's gonna be strictly question and answer from people from around the world. Let, let, oh, let, let me, let me get the, let, let, let me yes, ask go question real quick, yes. Bobby. You, you do uh, that, you can uh, ask some questions. We got time. Yeah. What? Saying what you said, uh, we in the year 2010, everybody's talking about 2012. Uh, mm -hmm. We got the malls, we got the Hebrew Israelites saying it's their way, we got the spiritualists saying it's their way, we got mm -hmm. the Black Panther saying it's their way, mm -hmm. we got this person saying it's their way. Mm -hmm. uh, what is, what, what should be the ultimate goal? For black people, is it to build another bl great black nation, or is it something? No, that's else? not happening. What, what, no, that's, that's what, not what, happening. What, what, what's the, uh, tell that's me, not, that's what's not happening. The, what's the ultimate 2012, goal right now? 2012, and we are in 2012. We've been in 2012. Even Deborah Blair's talking about it. Yeah. We are in 2012. I've been talking about it for years. 2012 is not a date. It's a season. Uh, we could have been in 2012 since 2001, since those buildings fell that started 2012. Because you got to realize. When them buildings fell, government got on it and put everybody on lockdown with Homeland Security. So they already know that by the time they announce something, by the time they announce something to you and tell you 2012, it's already going on. So we are in a 2012 season. If you were to get to the date 2012, it's very unlikely that, very unlikely that you're going to see anything happen. It's about like Y2K. We got the Y2K and the lights came on and the computers came on like the next day. And at the time, the day we was up at a black college and the guy said, we stepped, I stepped in the black college and my computer came on. Now, we all know it's a joke. If anything going to go wrong, it's going to go wrong at a black college. So we're going to have the least amount of maintenance and stuff to take care of some stuff. So when them computers came on at Clark Atlanta University in 1999, we knew that that was the biggest hoax since the whole concept of uh, a physical Jesus walking the earth. Uh, which is which is in the future, but the key here is the 2012 thing. We are in that cycle now. What's happening? Haiti is 2012. The oil spill is 2012. Now let's look at that. The earthquake hit Haiti when January 12th, right? When did the oil spill happen? It happened on Hitler's birthday, April 20th. 
2012. We are already in 2012. The events that's happening, but if they can give you a date two years off, you will still be looking for that and you'll miss all the stuff around you. We are in the 2012 cycle as we speak. You see, we're in the 2012 cycle as we speak. You see, remember now, I've been studying this government for a long time. They don't never give you nothing and announce anything if it's going to be the real thing. The people must remain ignorant at all times. So for the last three, four years, they've been talking on the History Channel and all this stuff about 2012. 2012, 2012. You see what I'm saying? That means, believe me, if anything that was, that was going to go down that way, the History Channel wouldn't do it. The History Channel did a whole special, one of the most racist channels out there, they did a whole special on uh, who the